Did you know that the University of Texas at Dallas is in the top 10 when it comes to international students in America? That's right, there's so many attractive things here at UTD when it comes to top-ranking STEM programs, options on and off campus, and a lot more, and some things you probably don't even know about as well. So check out this video to see if UTD is the right admit for you. Hey friends, welcome to Shine Coaching, I'm Rob. And at Chine Coaching, we're all about helping you find success in your cross-cultural journey, especially with studying abroad. We've helped guide hundreds and thousands of students choose the right admits. And today we're going to be talking about UT Dallas, a very popular college amongst international students, ranking in the top 10 and across America. And we have an expert today, Mahesh. He is the current vice president of the Indian Student Association. He's answered countless thousands of questions for students. And he's going to be breaking down every single important category from jobs, scholarships, tuition, what to do for on-campus jobs, and everything else for UTD. Mahesh, welcome buddy. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, thank you so much for the warm introduction, Rob. I'm Mahesh. I'm from Nagpur, India. Ever since I was growing up, I was interested in marketing and communication and understanding human behavior. This is what brought me here at the University of Texas at Dallas to pursue my master's in marketing. And that also brought me to start my own YouTube channel, The Musing Box. And I'm also part of several seven to eight other organizations here at UTD where I'm serving as a leader. I am the vice president of the Indian Student Association. I'm really happy and excited to have this interview with Rob. I couldn't think of a more perfect person at the college right now who knows the university ins and outs, especially as an international student. So this is gonna be the perfect guide to help you especially shortlist your admits and see if this is where you want to spend your money, True. get your degree, and make your dreams come happen in America. So Mahesh, let's jump in. The very first thing, the big question is, what's it going to cost? So let's talk about tuition. What does tuition run here at UTD? Well, um, UTD is very famous for its tuition because it's a university which is one of the most costliest university in Texas. Our one semester for international students is almost $18,000 for nine credit hours. And if you get a tuition uh, fee waiver or a uh, scholarship, then it's going to be somewhere around 8000 uh, 8, And it includes your insurance too. Mm -hmm. So I remember several years ago when we came to Texas, you know, the semester tuition was more like 13, 14, Correct. and it's gone up a few thousand, you know, as do most <laughs> colleges. So now it's, you know, up to 18, a thousand per semester, right? Correct. For, and that's for three subject or yes, nine credit hours? Yes, for nine credit hours, yes. Okay. So well, one more quick thing um, I would like to add is the more credit hours you take, the less the tuition. So suppose if you are taking four, four subjects, it's going to be a bit less. And if you take anything above four, then it's going to cost you the same amount. Yeah. And it, a lot of people ask, why is it so expensive? UTD does offer a lot of things. So hopefully yes. all these things you learn about in the video will maybe see if it's worth it or not for you. Sure. But let's talk about how to save money in scholarships. What are scholarship opportunities for students here? Well, um, UTD has a lot of funds for scholarship. The best part about living in Texas is that suppose if you get a scholarship which is worth more than thousand dollars from university, you become an in-state student, which means that your tuition is going to be waived half for two continuous semester. But there is a catch. Well, the most amount of funds that the university have, they roll it out in fall semester itself, which means those who are coming in fall or students who have came in spring and have applied for the scholarship in fall. Mm -hmm. Most of the scholarships are given in the fall semester and they have a very few chunk which is given in the spring semester. Okay. And for the undergrads as well, I know a lot of the undergrads get full ride or full tuition, yes. full paid tuition, which is really cool. So you can look into that as well. Yeah. UTD is very generous in terms of scholarship, but in fall semester. Yeah. And you can get it before coming and also after you arrive. Yes. If you're coming in fall semester, you can apply for the uh, next fall. Or if you're coming in spring, then you have to take four subjects to become eligible for applying for the scholarship in fall. And for things like tuition, scholarship, we're going to have all these things linked in the video description. Yes. So you can go and find out more of those specific details online. So check out the video description for all the links of everything we're talking about. Next, let's learn about the locality. So what's like safety, transportation, you know, where's the college at and what's the surroundings like? Well, um, the college is located in Richardson, so it's not exactly University of Texas at Dallas. It's in Richardson, but the, loca the locality is very good. It's safe. In terms of transportation, we have uh, UDD provides us the buses. The so Comet Cruiser. The Comet Cruiser, yeah. <laughs> so it's called the 83. Uh, and we have divided the university around two areas. So there is east side and there is west side. And the only difference is between the bus frequency, which is every 20 minutes at the west side and it's every 30 minutes at the east side, which is again is going to change in like a couple of years. So it's going to be like almost same frequency in both the sides. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the transportation wise, um, almost all the nearby areas are covered by UTD 
Comet Cruiser, which is free for students. So yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. So Richardson's a suburb just next to Dallas. Yes. It's mostly a residential area, so it's kind of a less happening area. Yeah. But it, it, it is really safe in terms of we mm -hmm. have UDD police over here, which keeps you know having those rounds around in the university. So it's really safe. Yeah. Around. So the campus and almost all the housing areas are very safe. There's just one area called McCollum Boulevard, yeah. where some of the students live in some of the cheaper housing, which has known some incidents. True. So besides that one specific road, everything else in the area safe. is very safe. The downside, though, is DFW, the Dallas Fort Worth area, has pretty bad public transportation. Agree. So most students are stuck in the Comet Cruiser loop, Correct. but Texas and most of America, you need a car to get around. Definitely, yes. I, I totally agree with that point that suppose if you're not living around the university, uh, you cannot commute here if you do not have a car or you have to take a cab because uh, mm. DART or Dallas Area Rapid Transport, mm -hmm. it's super not that good here at yeah. Dallas. It's definitely not as good as the transport you get back in Asia Correct. and definitely. other parts of the world. I agree. So over the last several years, UTD has built up some premium programs that are really desirable, you know, really trending into the industry. So what are the top degrees that most F1 students are taking here at UT Dallas? Well, definitely UTD has raised the bar in terms of the courses. Um, one course, Business Analytics, is the highest intake course in the entire United States. Uh, we had an intake of almost a thousand students last fall. So it's like the largest program um, at UTD. After um, MSBA, which is uh, Masters of Science and Business Analytics, the next one is ITM, which mm -hmm. is Information Technology Management. It is the second most popular program here and the second most popular program. After that, the third one is Supply Chain Management. So that's the third, third most popular program. And then rest other Probably programs. Probably Computer are, Science. Yeah, even Computer Science too. So this is, are the management side uh, mm -hmm. of the programs that I was talking about. But apart from that, on the other hand too, uh, UDD CS program is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Computer Science, especially with you know cybersecurity, yes. software development. Even in engineering too. Yeah, yes. engineering, electrical engineering is really popular. Definitely. So there's a lot of great programs across the STEM board that are really attractive for international students. Right. And even in terms of management, then other programs are becoming popular, be it finance or marketing. Mm -hmm. And this program have been recently converted to STEM. So they are being more popular now. Definitely, yeah. So once you've chosen what to study, the next big question is, where do I live? So what does the housing options look like here around UT Dallas? Well, where you live matters the most. Um, and of course, being a student, you will try to cut the cost. So living, in a, living around the university is the best cost. But as I said, uh, we have east side and we have west side in university. So only difference is between the bus route, which is the frequency. Mm -hmm. um, but there is one catch too. So the west side people get a benefit just because uh, the bus goes to Walmart every Friday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it goes to and fro from um, west side. But for those who live in east side, they have to go to university first. And then from university, they have to take a 83 west mm -hmm. side bus and then they can go to Walmart. The rest differences between the bus route, the popular um, places to live in east side are north side, Marquis, uh, estates of Richardson, Pradera, or on the west side um, is gonna be Frankfurt, Palencia, Pearl, and along. Yeah, we're gonna make a more specific detailed video just about all the UTD housing options. We've got a great playlist as well, yes. but what's the basic rent range that people can expect? I know there's sure. older and really nice new, but what, what's the average cost these days? These days, the average cost is somewhere going to be around 600 bucks in terms of rent and then- Per person? Per person, yes, mm -hmm. because uh, the renting system has been increased like in the past six to seven months. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it was somewhere the average was 450 to 500, but now it has raised up to 550 to 600. Yeah, the average two bedroom apartment now yes. kind of goes from 1800 to about $2,500 a yes. month. So, individually, it's going to cost you somewhere around 550 to 600 bucks now. Mm -hmm. And the um, living expenses is going to be somewhere around 100 to 120 in terms of your groceries and your um, commute and everything. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, most students, their average monthly expenses is around maybe 800,000 yeah. max. Max, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will be getting covered everything in 1100 with, with even having a, a bit of saving. Definitely, definitely. If you're planning to study abroad, then here's two great resources to help you to have an advantage amongst the competition. First is Juno. Juno is a company that provides tuition loans and health insurance for students and international students. Juno provides great interest rates. We've had some of our Chai and Coaching community get approved. They've got cheaper rates, or you can also even refinance your loan and get a discounted cheaper interest rate on your tuition loan. It's amazing. Save a lot of money. 
or you can also maybe find possibly better health insurance, medical insurance than might be what your university provides. So check out Juno for that. And a second resource, my friends, is the Collegiate Mentorship Program, CMP. This is a mentorship program to help you get into the elite universities in the world, where you get paired up with mentors, lecturers, researchers to get one-on-one -on -one guidance to build the best profile, help write essays, and get coaching to get admitted to top colleges, and getting connected with people directly from MIT, Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, Yale, Columbia, and all these top universities across America and the UK. You get paired up with actual professors there. It's incredible to get guided on what it's going to take to get admitted to one of those colleges. So definitely check out Juno and the Collegiate Mentorship Program to get ahead in your study abroad journey. Check out the links to get connected there. Another unique thing and kind of challenging thing in America is health insurance. It's, it's tricky, but you need it. How does health insurance work here at UTD for students? The best part about health insurance that each university provides you in health insurance, in, including in the tuition. A few students try to wave it off, but then for to wave it off, you have to have an insurance which covers up all the details that have been mentioned by the university. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend to take the university's insurance because since you do not have a commute, you have to go to another hospital nearby if you have anything in it urgent or any emergency mm -hmm. while if you ha live in university nearby you know even for small minor things like a burn or anything you can just quickly go and get it fixed through university so i really recommend to take the university insurance though it is a bit on a higher side but uh, if you compare it with other insurances over here it's mm -hmm. really cheap okay do you know the cost it's somewhere around 1100 per semester per semester okay yeah that's Better than still See, what other things are. So some people that. pay eleven hundred yeah. per month. So exactly. Yeah. That that's the whole point. I know students consider this is like the insurance so much. You can just tell us some cheap insurances, but it's really cheap if you compare it with other insurances over here. Yeah. So just go with the university. Yeah. It's easy. I recommend. Yeah. And my friends, if you're learning a lot in this video like me, hit that like button to say thanks to Mahesh sharing his incredible experience during his very busy schedule. And our chai question for you guys is what degree are you planning to pursue? Especially at UTD, let us know in the comments what degree are you applying for? What degree do you want to study abroad? We mentioned a lot of those really popular ones here at UTD, like business analytics, ITM, computer science, CS, you know, supply chain. So let us know um, which degree you're considering here in the States. Now it's really helpful to have some pocket money. So let's talk about on-campus jobs. How does it work? What's the competition like? And what can people expect for on-campus jobs? Huh. I got to be honest. Well, um, getting an on-campus job is really like a luck thing these days because here's the thing. For a single job opening, the amount of applications which goes is somewhere around 400 to 500. Mm -hmm. And they just need one position to be filled up. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely luck, it's definitely time. Sometimes recommendation works, sometimes they don't. So a lot of things goes on. So getting an on-campus job is a bit difficult, but on an average, a student gets an on-campus job within five to six months after coming over here. Mm -hmm. So that's the average you should consider. One thing that students really do wrong when they come over here at uh, UTD is they take stress of not getting an on-campus job once they land it up. Mm. Uh, it's not going to work like that. You can never compare yourself with your friend because just because your friend got one, does, that does not compare his capability or your capability. These are usually manual tasks, which anyone can do. So it's more of a luck best thing than the, you know, value best thing. Yeah, yeah. And especially like at UTD, when there's lots of international students, yes. it's good just not to even expect your first semester to get one. I totally agree. Focus on your studies, focus on adjusting, yeah. and then plan ahead for that next semester to try and get one and have better expectations. Definitely. And also there's different ranges. You know, there's basic jobs like dining and parking right, yeah. and sports. And then there's technical jobs like T-A-R-A-G-A. -A -A, Agreed. Where those pay more, they can get scholarships. True. Um, good for the resume. And so there's even a whole spectrum and variety of on-campus jobs. Definitely. I can add a bit more light to TA. So uh, TA is kind of an on-campus job, but that, bring, that brings you an instant Tuition. So it's kind of a scholarship given mm -hmm. to you. Uh, you will be assisting a professor and you will be getting somewhere around 1100 per month for as an expense to you for living. And then once hopefully someone gets an on-campus job, their scopes are set on internships, you know, which are CPT and then yes. full-time jobs, OPT. So what's the job scope here for students in landing those internships and full-time jobs? 
Well, uh, you really need to network a lot. You really need to work hard in terms of skilling up yourself and skilling up your resume. Because uh, here's the thing, you cannot get into a job which is easily replaceable by the current population itself. Mm -hmm. So you are here for a STEM degree. And then you have to skill up yourself in terms of that. So job market is good, definitely I can count on that. Uh, you will get a lot of jobs for sure. And technically, I should not mention the count, but somewhere around usually students do 400 or 500 applications, but they get a job. And then of course there are your videos which are really helpful or the examples of the iceberg and below the mm -hmm. ice. Uh, watch those videos, I have watched them. They really help you in terms of understanding how the job market works over here. But overall, I would definitely say the market is good in terms of getting a business analytics job or becoming an analyst, be it a marketing analyst or becoming a business analyst or even CS, uh, CS people get a really, really good job. You can expect somewhere around uh, the average internship goes at uh, 25 to 30 dollars. Per hour. Per hour. Mm -hmm. So these are the average for internships and you can expect a full time somewhere around 80k to 90k um, within one or two year experience. Yeah. And what's good about Texas, like DFW is the second biggest tech hub outside yes. of Bay Area. And then you have Dallas, Austin, Houston, San Antonio. So Texas is an incredible economy, great job market. And most jobs in America are gotten through networking, whether it's on campus internship full time. So don't make your strategy about applying online. Focus yes. on networking and- 50-50. Exactly. And that's what is cool about UTD is they have a lot of career services. There's multiple career service offices that help you build your resume, learn how to use LinkedIn, yes. do mock interviews. And so there's a lot of ways that you can get help to be prepared uh, to succeed in your job search if you need help. I agree. Also, another great thing that you should do while studying abroad is have a life outside the classroom. So you should be involved with student organizations, um, on-campus clubs. Um, there's so many benefits of that. Mahesh, you're in several of those. <laughs> Maybe share a few, but then also describe what they're like and then why they're a good thing to be a part of. Here's the thing. You are here, of course, for growing yourself up. And apart from the technical skills or the skill sets that you're going to learn from your coursework, mm -hmm. You have to become yourself as a good person, as a good communicator, or as a good leader. How do you do that? You do that by enrolling yourself into different clubs over here. When you interact with different kinds of people in different clubs, you become a whole all-rounder person. And that's what I try to do here. So currently, I'm the vice president of the Indian Student Association. I am also part of the Dean's Council. Mm -hmm. um, I'm part of Graduate Student Assembly. I am also in Marketing Analytics Club. Um, I was part of Student Government. Uh, I am also in the Marketing Student Leadership Council. So Sarah, it's not about counting the clubs I'm part of. It's all about being part of different mindset so mm -hmm. even if i'm in i'm the bp membership of toastmasters i'm going every saturday over there and trying to give a speech or if i'm part of dean's council i'm attending every single meeting and discussing with the whole team mm -hmm. so all experience is to be part of those clubs to enhance yourself as a person to become a good communicator and to become a good leader so you should definitely definitely do that it adds values to your resume it mm -hmm. adds values to your interviews it helps you write a better essay for your scholarships and overall help you get a good campus life because these events are what you're gonna you know remember when you graduate from this university you're not gonna remember your grades or your 4 gpa or that test that you scored really nice in. but these memories or these events that you worked in and the people and the friends that you made for your life now through those clubs yeah college in america is very different it's not just about the marks and the numbers yes. It's more of college is about what you do outside the classroom, mm -hmm. how you build and grow yourself holistically. Correct. And so getting involved in these kind of things, whether they're technical or just for fun, are, are a great way to make the most of your abroad experience. Correct. So lastly, a couple pros and cons about UTD that you need to know that's very unique that might impact your decision to cohere. So what are those? Well, definitely we have really, really great professors here at university. They have really great knowledge in, in the fields they are working in. So in terms of knowledge, you are at the best. But if you're considering that you want a really great diversity while studying over here, then maybe that's a con because you will see a lot of Indian students over here than the international crowd. Or if you are thinking that I'm going to sit in a class where uh, you know, there are going to be 60% Americans or a very diverse class, mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to happen like that. 95 or 97% of your classes, students are going to be Indians. The whole point of this is because uh, you do not, do not have a cap in terms of getting the admit. So 
And during the pandemic, they got rid of the GRE requirement, yes, right? Yes, and the GRE requirement is waived off, which means that um, suppose if you have a good SOP and a good LOR, you can definitely get a good admit. And if you cover your visa, definitely you can get an admit. But um, this is one of the con if you are considering in overall whether I should join it or not. But if you have a scholarship, definitely go for it because two semesters, $8,000, it's mm -hmm. worth it for the brand that uh, UTD is. But uh, if you're considering diversity and really you want to you wanna get into that culture and have a very good culturalization, then maybe you may consider some other university. Yeah, we do joke that UTD stands for University of Texas Desi. Yes. And so there is some truth to that. So yeah. just make sure you know if that's what you're looking for or not. Yeah, and there are pros and cons too. Suppose mm -hmm. uh, if you're a person who is... Uh, who knows that you know you got, you gel up very good with Indians or you feel homesick quickly? Then it's a really good part that you're ama around your people only, mm -hmm. so you don't feel uh, missing home. This is a home only. Yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah. the ISA, the Indian Student Association (UTD), there is no other Indian group across the country that's as robust and I helpful. Agree. And so you will will feel the most welcomed, have the most fun, celebrate the festivals to the grandest scale. So yes. you definitely do get the, the fun part of the Indian yeah. vibes. We here. make you feel like home over here. So that's the fun part. Definitely. Yeah. Looking forward to the fun events, even coming up with Holi <laughs> yes, and Sangam. And definitely. I can't wait for those. My friends, don't forget about getting an advantage and saving money through Juno and the Collegiate Mentorship Program. We're going to have links where you can connect to save money on tuition loans, health insurance, or get mentored so you can get admitted into your top dream school. Check it out. So friends, don't forget that we're going to be making another complete UTD housing guide video covering the top options, costs, locations. So be sure to check that out. We'll have the links for you guys. And Mahesh, thanks so much. Thank uh, you so much. I learned a lot. Uh, thanks for sharing your expertise. And hopefully this will help lots of students who are considering UTD in the future. Thank you for having me over here, Rob. While starting my journey back in India, when I Googled, okay, I have to start my life mm -hmm. in US. The first thing, the first video which came was of yours. <laughs> uh, so you have been one of the start to my journey too. So this is just a giving back to you. And Definitely. thank you so much for doing whatever you do. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Passing on the wisdom from the seniors yes. to the juniors. And um, yeah, connect with us online on Instagram, LinkedIn. Mahesh has a great YouTube channel as well with his insights and student experience you want to check out. Musing Box, we'll have the link for that. Thank we you. love having you guys part of the Chai Coaching community. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.